that we may consider taking in this boy to help us in our shop. Dear me, he is a bit small. Oh yes, he is quite small. There's no denying it. But he'll grow, Mr. Sowerberry. He'll grow. I dare say he will. And I bet it's an art dream. These workhouse boys always cost more than what they're worth. Still, you men think you know best. What are you planning to do with him? There's an expression of melancholy on his face that is very interesting. He can make a delightful coffin follower. A what? I don't mean a regular coffin follower for the grown-ups, but only for the children's practice. A superb effect, the more I think about it. For once, just for once, you may have a good idea. Very well then, boy, what's your name? Oliver. Oliver Twist. A singular name. I. One of my own beauty, madam. Yours, Mr. Bumble? Mine, Mr. Sowerberry. How is that, Mr. Bumble? The boy's mother came to us as destitute, brings a child into the world, takes on the stupid, and probably dies. <laughs> <laughs> Without leaving so much as a parting name or address. Dear, dear. Well, Oliver, do you think you could look like that man up there in that picture? Maybe if I had a black hat. The boy is quite right, Henry. Get the boy top hat. These things must be done proper and correct. Now stand there, boy, under the picture. Henry, really, bring us the top hat. It takes you twice as long to do anything as anyone else. <laughs> yes, you may have a good idea. Can you stand there, boy, with that look on your face for a long time? With a crowd watching you? Yes, ma'am.
that's going to be under the counter. I suppose you don't mind sleeping among coffins. That's too bad you can't sleep anywhere else. Thank you. 
speak to you so. It's not craziness, madam. It's me. What? Me, madam, me. You overfed the boy. You raised an artificial spirit in the boy on becoming of a station in life. If you could have kept him on cruel, this would have never happened. And this is what becomes of being kind. <laughs>
Well, you, 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 why are you awake? What have you seen? Why don't you hear every detail you saw? I'm sorry, I couldn't sleep, so I'm sorry, I just didn't Were you awake five minutes ago? No, sir. Two? Not the no, sir. Be sure, be sure. Thank you. 
Just what do you mean by that? What I say, Bill. She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. Yes, she will, Fagin. She'll go. Even if I have to drag her there myself. Go home, Bet.
Staircase Boys and Beefcase Boys. And which is all of them, Mewy? Where does he come from? Didn't I tell you? He was arrested for stealing a pocket handkerchief. What, sir? It was all my mistake. When the shopkeeper told us what really happened, and so it's released by the magistrate. So I brought him here to make for the men.
books. Start a library. You can't have the books. There, Mr. Brownhead. He finds out you have them. He'll get it after you. Oh, he'll be out here, Willie. What did you tell him? Nothing. I'll wager this young scoundrel's told him. Ah, ah, Dad! Oh, you got me. What more do you have? Let it be. Let him be. Or I shall put my mark upon you. And I don't care the consequence. And see, you're wonderful tonight. Such talent. What an actress. Am I? Take care, I don't overdo it. Because I've warned you, I'll point my finger at some of you, and I don't care if I hang with you. You? Do you know who you are and what you are? Who I am and what I am. Yes, I know all about it. Then keep quiet, or I'll silence you for a good long time to come. You're a nice one for the child to make friends with. Lord, help me, I am. I wish I'd been struck down in the street before helping you bring him here. After today, he's a thief, a liar, and all else bad from this day forth. Isn't that enough for you? Without beating him to death? You don't know the sight. Must have civil words, Bill. Civil words. Civil words? Yes, you deserve them from me. I see for you and I as happy as age. Don't you forget it. Well, if you have, it's your living. Some living! Lord help me! Some living! To bed! All of you! Look after a bill. And you. Look after all of them. And I'll look after myself. <laughs> So 
Thank you. 
will join the cast to perform I Sing the Body Mic. This song has different meanings to different students, but a common theme can be found in the literal text. The students are celebrating not only the art, but their growth in the arts yet to come. This song also symbolizes the passing of a class. This is the last summer program in which the class of 1997 will be able to participate. This passing of the tradition is represented by the two soloists selected to sing. Eric Hunter, a senior, will sing the first verse, then turn the spot over to eighth grader Casey Cole. <laughs> Oh, my God. 